According to what I've heard, the world is round. But is that really true? Earth might have the shape of rock candy. Like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. But I don't really know for sure. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the Earth. In the same way, I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Common knowledge in what we take for granted. We base our lives around such uncertain things. Well, not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the Earth or common knowledge. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. This is my world. This two-bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. I am actually imprisoned inside this room. My name is Komaru Naegi. I'm a completely normal high school girl who lives an abnormal daily life. humans can adapt. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. But it's not like I've completely given up, of course. If I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese style this morning. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. I haven't seen the culprit's face or even heard their voice. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. Regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs>
Must be Komaru Nayagi. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Uh, um. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. Actually, I'm here to rescue you. Huh? Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. However... What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. Now... A riot? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... Wh wh what do you mean, riot? What's going on outside? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going on? So you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. He was just like that the first time I met him. Him? You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Do you really have an option other than run? <laughs> it's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. It appears to be effective against these Monokumas. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. Read the operation instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now that I've seen these annoying bears, I can't just leave them be. Run, but where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <gasps> Hurry up and go! You're just in the way here! for one? Huh? A bear attack! A bear attack! A bear attack! Bears! Bears everywhere! 
Everywhere. Miss, now please. Oh, the military! Paramedics! Hurry! If we don't hurry... Miss, please keep your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Hurry! All right, fine. Please, uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order of... Relax and stay calm. Ugh. I'm hungry. Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is... <laughs> Emergency! Riots are breaking out all over Toa City! God, take refuge immediately! I repeat, citizens of Toa City, take refuge! You say that, but... What should I do? They're gonna find me! I gotta escape. I gotta get out of here. Makes no sense. What is happening? This gun is amazing. I'm definitely gonna get out of here. They're dead. They're all dead. What's with this bear? It's enough already. Do zombies really say rawr like that? I'm really having trouble getting past that, you know? Mm, who cares? I told you, style is important for this kind of thing. Tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Jeez, what are you so mad about? Oh, wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Stop that! Don't come over here! Please stop! Come on, stop! Nice to meet you. We are the Warriors of Hope. 
We are the masters of Mr. Monokuma. This town, this dirty, lame, worthless, pathetic, good-for-nothing town that's nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build a paradise of children, for children, by children. And therefore, all of you adults will no longer be needed. Goodbye! Around a year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school, but the school covered it up. So it was too late when the world finally realized it grew out of control, becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had that much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder. The violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl. But instead, I became a complacent prisoner. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper, even worse. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize.
Why is this happening? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have stayed in my room forever! <laughs> I said that someone is supposed to be here, right? Here. Yakuya guys. Uh, are you all right? Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Uh, um, you're from Future Foundation, right? How? How did you know? I, I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Could you be? Are you a captive? Go to the park. Head through this door, and go straight down the road. There should be a Future Foundation helicopter there. Hurry, go! But, what about you? <laughs> Hurry, you gotta get out of here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the town. It's in ruins. What is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. So, where is Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? He, he told me to run, so I, I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. But then again, this is Byakuya Tagami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle himself. But, but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there! Please, you have to go save him! Understood. I'll go back for him. I hope he can make it in time. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything! I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. We're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? Incident? It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. It was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations of society to the core. And it wasn't just one. Various incidents broke out all over the world. And then, the war. 
The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. Because of all of this, the world just crumbled. But, in all that chaos, Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. Oh, and as for this town... Are you alright? Are you following? Uh, yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. I'm sorry, but you need to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Ever since the government stopped functioning due to the tragedy, Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. But the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. And because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city, and that broadcast by those creepy kids. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. And I'm... Um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long, I... Oh, about your family. Hold it. What was that? Do you hear that? Singing? Over there! <laughs> A kid? <laughs> Get back! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? <laughs> 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 
She looked completely exhausted. Who, who are you? Me? Oh, my name's not really important. After all, I'm just a lowly servant. I had heard this town would be safe, so I came here to seek refuge. And on top of that, I get captured by them. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. Uh, um... Ah, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Either you truly are completely exhausted, or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep a full two days. A, a full two days? A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Ah, but you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? You're wondering what's to become of you. What's going to happen to me? <sighs> huh? Oh, apologies. Your reaction was so... normal. It surprised me a little. <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Uh, um... Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. And the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is a common, boring person like yourself. So that's why you pass. Wh what are you talking about? Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all. Which means I'll need you to take a proper test. A test? Ah, but before that, I'll return this to you. The, the hacking gun! I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. However, it was a bit... too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. Game balance? Oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. Uh, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. If you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. I'll be going on ahead. What the heck? What is going on now? 